Hey plant gang, wanna to talk to you about this shrub right here. Uh, just This one just starting to bloom. Uh, I've actually got a bloom of a cultivar in my hand here. This is Calicanthus floridus, uh, the Carolina allspice or the sweet shrub. Uh, just about to bloom here. We are in late uh, April and the leaves are out, uh, really budding up here. A lot of great cultivars, uh, but also just a great understory shrub for the home landscape. So here we're looking at a little bit uh, more up close at the leaves, uh, oppositely arranged on the stem, a big broad leaves. We're talking about two inches wide, can be about four inches long. Uh, this is overall kind of a big suckering shrub. Hardy from zones four through nine can get six to 10 foot tall and spread out six to 12 foot wide. Uh, blooming at the end of April, if you're in a little bit colder uh, zones, uh, maybe a little bit later than that. A couple different cultivars uh, on the market, uh, some more fragrant than others. And so often it's, it's recommended to buy this plant when it's in bloom so you can smell the flowers. Uh, in particular, if it's seed grown, uh, the smell of the flowers can vary from plant to plant. Uh, the blooms are a reddish brown bloom. Uh, they are uh, sweetly fragrant, maybe a little bit spicy, uh, but a beautiful plant. So uh, I've done very well with this shrub in the southeastern United States in partial sun situations, uh, potentially afternoon shade, it really enjoys that. Uh, I've also grown it out in the full sun, uh, but with adequate moisture. And so it does take a variety of conditions. Uh, there are several hybrids of this plant on the market. In fact, if you go to the retail nursery, uh, you're gonna find hybrids between our native, uh, southeastern native uh, Calicanthus floridus and uh, the Chinese version of this plant. Uh, one is called Aphrodite, there's one called uh, Hartledge wine that's quite popular and in fact the flowers that I'm going to show you are of the hybrid Hartledge wine uh, because that one is the most common on the market but uh, I do really think that our native uh, straight species of our native one is a great plant uh, but really if you go to the nursery in a lot of cases uh, you're going to find one of these more popular uh, hybrid cultivars uh, like Hartledge wine. Now Hartledge wine does not have a lot of fragrance to the flowers maybe no fragrance really at all uh, but there are several new ones continually uh, coming to market uh, that are really great plants for the landscape. These hybrids are great uh, they're a little bit maybe robust bloomers uh, they bring a little bit some some of them have a little bit of like white in the bloom uh, which gives it a little bit of contrast uh, and so look out for those hybrids uh, i really just want you to know carolina allspice uh, or sweet shrub uh, calicanthus florida florida floridus or calicanthus floridus uh, one that you should know uh, for the home landscape a great utility shrub understory shrub uh, that can really uh, be a workhorse in the landscape so here again, I'm showing you a close up of one of the hybrid flowers. Unfortunately, I, I just do not have the straight species to show you right now. Uh, but this is Hartledge wine, uh, often uh, listed as Calicanthus ex Ralstonii, uh, which is, again, this is a hybrid one. Other cultivars, there's one called Venus that's got white flowers, it's quite nice. Uh, but look out for some of these, uh, these different, uh, different ones. The straight species, uh, the flowers again, quite fragrant. Uh, almost a spicy aroma. Some people even say it's, it has a little bit of a banana uh, smell to the flower. Uh, and then you get a seed pod that's very unique, uniquely shaped. It's kind of like a big urn uh, that sits on there and the, and the seeds actually can be planted uh, quite quickly as that thing starts to mature. So here uh, is a landscape tip. Use as a specimen in the understory of the native landscape.